We'd like to welcome everybody back to practicallyandroid.com where we show you guys practical and beneficial ways to use your Android in everyday life. Today we're going to show you how to keep up on what's important to you through two apps. One of them is called Pulse and the other one's called Google Reader. And they're basically RSS subscription um, apps. Uh, and RSS is basically an easy way to subscribe to the content that a specific site puts out. And these apps allow you to subscribe to a bunch of different ones in one single place. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Basically, you know, download these from the Android market. I don't, th I didn't think you'd want to see that, and it takes forever. So first, we're going to do Pulse. This is what's what you're going to see when you first come when you first um, open the app. Um, it shows you, um, you know, tips on how to use it. But we're going to go over that right now. Um, basically, the way this works out is each of these lines right here are the different websites that you have, you're subscribing to okay um, and let's say you're you know the New Yorker or let's, let's look at fast company here we tap each and each square is an article or a blog in that website so you can see how easy I mean one it looks really nice it looks really nice two you can see how easy it is to just go through and um, go through these articles and once you tap on one so I'm going to tap on this one and let it load it's really nice just to be able to read um, there's no ads to get in the way um, you can pinch to zoom get it bigger or smaller which is nice and then let's say you want to go to the next article just swipe from one side to the other so here I go just like that one two you can make this like an exercise course one two one two um, just kidding. <laughs> so that's it's really nice. So now, now these I don't know if you're particularly, you know, if if these standard articles that um, come up on here are the ones that you might fancy, but I'll show you how you can change that. Now before I do, down here you can see Facebook links. This is really cool. You can set up a, a whole stream of your Facebook wall or your Facebook stream, which is kind of nice. Um, so, so in order to to edit what's on your screen, you see this little this little wheel on the top left hand corner of your screen. I'm going to tap that, and it gives brings you to the edit screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these. Just tap on the X, obviously, and then it lets you choose. You can either choose a pack. Um, or you can just browse their catalog and you know what practically Android is in that catalog so we're going to show you how to get to us on those on those packs yeah. give them a shot I, I never really like any of the things that they recommend so I just go and look for the things I like particularly so I'm going to tap on the browser catalog button and you see four tabs on the very top right so the featured is obviously just you know ones that are featured you're going to find us by tapping browse, scrolling down to the bottom, technology, tap on that, and then tapping on Android News, which is the second one from the top, and scrolling all the way down to practically Android. Tap on that guy, and that's done. Now we also have a, a Brazilian Portuguese website of practically Android. And uh, we've tried to get Pulse to Atom, but they, they're, just, they're not doing other languages right now. But I'll show you how you can search for, you know, let's say that the blog that you want to look up uh, or follow, or the website you want to follow isn't in their catalog. Well, fear not, friends. You just tap search on here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type practically Android. And then I'm going to type... Uh, Dicas de Android, that's how you, that's what it will call it in Portuguese. And see, that's us right there. As you can tell, this, this plus sign is already grayed out, which means we've already added it. Let's keep scrolling down and see if we can't see it, find it. And there it is. Um, PracticallyAndroid.com, Dicas de Android. This is the, the Portuguese site. So as you can see, even if you, um, this is basically kind of like a Google search bar, you can think of it. Um, and just search that that specific website you want to you want to add to your list. So, tap on that guy. As we can see there, it's been added. So I'm just gonna just hit the back button, 
And as you can see there, practically Android, I got two practically Android feeds. I hit back and it's going to update the changes I made. Um, so let, let, let's let this load for a second. Um, but just like that. So now um, I have these two websites. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just tap on the first one and let that load. Um, so as, as we went through earlier, you can go ahead and swipe and look at different ones, um, which is really nice. The pictures take a little bit to load, so we'll just let that load. Because, you know, we put a lot of effort into these pictures. We want you to see them. We think they're quite hilarious. Um, <laughs> and we have a lot of fun doing them. So anyway, that's kind of how that works. Uh, Pulse. So if you have any questions about that, let us know. We think it's really useful. It's a really useful, useful way to keep track of us and all the good content we bring you. Um, or any other website that you find useful as well. Um, well one last thing I'll show you. So if, if when you're in this screen, if you hit Menu and hit Hide Red, right there, it's going to hide all the ones that you've already read. Let's go back in it real fast. And that's kind of nice because then it keeps things less cluttered. So that let's say I read all of these articles. Whenever new ones come up, you can just uh, you'll know because there's that that new one that's on there. So if you noticed, all those ones I scrolled through are no longer showing. I can now hit menu and then show all, and it it will show um, all all of them, even the ones I have read. So that's kind of nice, but anyway, give it a shot. On our next video, we're going to show you how um, to go over how to use Google Reader. We don't want to make these videos super long. Uh, we know your time is important, but anyway, that's all we have for today. Leave your comments below. Let us know if if you like Pulse. Um, if there's another Google or if there's another R, if there's another RSS reader that you like better. Um, but anyway, for a more practical life, practically Android.com. Take care, y'all.